You said you were going to be able to do something. I'm still trying, but I think it's just another power that is working against us. No? Well, I've got first-hand experience. They stole my gun, killed my partner, and stuck me with a wrap. Now I've only got two days left before dying myself. Maybe not. Listen, I've been all over this case, and I'm pretty sure who's responsible for your partner's murder. David Benning. Does it make sense to you? That was the only name written on his blotter. Nothing else. No notes, no numbers, nothing. Why? Because I think this guy is at the center of something real big. Big enough to kill a cop, and even big enough to get his partner framed for the murder. Come on, what have you got? Well, not much. I mean, not much yet. But I still got a lead, and if that works out, I think we have a pretty good chance of getting you out of this place. Look, don't do this to me, Malone. I can't get myself all worked up over false hopes. This close to the end. Hey, I'm not giving up on you, Bill. But don't give up on yourself, okay? But remember, I've only got two days. In two days, Bill Finn will be executed for the murder of his partner, Officer Raymond Kroll. So? I want to be absolutely certain that he dies on schedule. In case you're forgetting, Banning, we're not exactly on speaking terms. In fact, I thought we were on you wanting me dead terms. I'm willing to put our differences behind us. <laughs> I have need of your particular skills. Well, I think you know that my particular skills have a price now. How does five million grab you? The amount is immaterial. Fine. So why do you care what happens to Finn anyway? He killed another man. He deserves to die. You mean you set him up, and now you're worried if anyone finds out it may fall back in your lap? The details shouldn't concern you. What should is that I expect your commitment to this mission. 60% up front, the rest when the job is done. My rock, what's happened to you? Where's your spirit of cooperation? Why do I get the feeling you're up to something, Banning? My rock, you have to learn to start trusting me. Just one of you? Manning must have a lot of confidence in you. I'm coming with you. No, I promised Gordon it would just be the two of us. You know how jumpy he gets. Well, one of us has to come with you. Look, I've given up my whole life to help you fight Banning. I'd like to pretend for a few hours that I'm a normal person again, visiting a normal friend. <laughs> yeah, right. Since when is Gordon normal? Okay, not normal, a friend. He's undercover too. There's, there's no way anybody's gonna know we're meeting. Don't worry, we'll be fine. I guess we're worse than parents. What time are you gonna be back? I'll make my curfew.
Come on. All right, Kiki, back in the cage. Oh, it's all fun and games for you, isn't it? Huh? Huh? Quite a place you've got here, Gordon. Laura! Oh, <laughs> welcome to my center of operations. Looks like a zoo. Oh, well, yeah. There's bound to be some animals around when you're in the pet detective biz. <laughs> but it's not too bad, you know, because I have this inherent love of animals. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 easy. <laughs> you too. So, um... Hi, Bert! So how'd you find it this time? It wasn't easy. It would have been if I had your psychic powers. Oh, well, I can guarantee you they're no treat. God, if you found me, then that means banning could. I'm gonna have to move again, aren't I? Oh, great. Just when I was finally getting a client base. I know you better than banning. It won't be easy for him. I don't know what to say, Gordon. I'm sorry you got involved in this. It's not your fault, Laura. I feel responsible. I'm the one he wanted, not you. Well, now, yeah, and now we're all in it together. It's, it's, it's better in some ways. I mean, I'd rather know what's going on and try and defend myself than be totally oblivious. All those people out there driving around in their freaking cars and watching TV, they have no idea the bandings just ready to blow them all away. I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Who are you? My name is Malone. Who sent you? I sent the Caribbean. What do you want? I'm a reporter. I'm on a story. I'm sorry to hear about Bill Finn, but I don't understand what his execution has to do with me. He did not kill. He was framed. There you are. Thanks. He was framed. And I think you know the man who did it. David Benning. What do you want? I need you to tell me everything you know about him. I can't help you. You know about Benning. Hey, I know what happened at the Institute. I know you were involved, and I also know about this friend of yours. He's nobody. He's not involved. Laura, I have done my homework on you and everybody at the Institute. His name is Gordon Reeves. Word is, he has the power to visualize things at a great distance. My hunch is that you two are involved in something. My second hunch is it involves planning. Hey, if there's any way you can help me save this guy's life, I am asking you to do so. I'm doing what I can in my own way, Mr. Malone. These are powerful people you're dealing with. If they framed Finn, they did a good job. I photographed the murder. I saw the man who really killed Crow, and I think he works for Benning. Then why don't you expose him? When I sent the film to the lab, it, 
It vanished. Did you testify at the trial? Benning was ready with two stellar eyewitnesses who had shown my story. You don't seem the type to give up. Why don't you print your version in your paper? Because my editor Barry did. Benning owns a lot of people. Like who? I mean, come on, give me names. You have no idea what you're up against. So what? So what? Don't you tell me. I'm not going to disappear. You are going to help me one way or another. All right. I'll help you. I need to know everything you know, and I'll try to fill in the details. Just give me a minute in the restroom. That's fine. Keating, psychologist and ex-employee of the Institute, confessed her role in the bombing of the facility three months ago. Well, this doesn't make sense. This is the reporter, Malone. He said Lodge's appeared after she confessed. We should have never let her go there alone. I thought she was meeting with Gordon. No, she did. He's in the photo. Yeah, the article never mentions his name. Yeah, well, let's go find this Malone. I think he's left out a few important details. Okay. I didn't write this crap. No? Maybe you should have. Not a single word of this is true. Where's my story? Your piece was too bogged down in extraneous material. There was no hook, Malone. All that stuff on Finn? Dead file. I told you that. This man is going to the electric chair tomorrow. You don't call that news? Bill Finn had nothing to do with the explosion at the Institute. Cross-reference the two stories. What do you get? I told you to drop it, Malone. David Benning. We don't put theories on the front page. Raymond Kroll was investigating Benning just a short time before he got killed. Raymond Kroll had a full caseload. He was investigating a lot of stuff before he died. I saw the murder. I took pictures. Oh, yeah. The mysterious disappearing proof. I forgot. That magical picture, which would set five people's testimonies on their ear, just disappeared into thin air. I would like to see that picture, Malone. Can you show it to me? You're just not listening to what I'm talking about. I told you, my film was stolen from the dark room. How convenient. Oh, yeah. That's kind of what I thought. I'm sorry, Malone. Without proof, my hands are tied. By who? Benning? <laughs> you watch yourself, kid. Why? Is this man going to whack me, too? Get out of my office. Now. Do 
you mind? Yes, we mind. Where's Laura? Who are you? Concerned friends. I saw her last night. She took off on me. I don't know where she went. When did she agree to meet with you? She didn't exactly. She was meeting someone. After he left, I talked to Laura. Why? Why? I thought she could help me. Why did you write those lies about her? I didn't. The editor changed my story. Why would he do that? How do I know? Hey, I got the feeling this man is in someone's pocket. Is Laura in trouble? This huh? See, I didn't do anything to her. I asked her some questions. She didn't want to answer, so she left. That's it. Mr. Dent, any word from Myrock yet? He reported in. She slipped away from him. Apparently, he's been pursuing her all night. Do I detect a note of disdain in your voice? It's sloppy work. Myrock should be able to capture one human female by himself. That human female has eluded you on more than one occasion. Give him time. The wrist explosive will guarantee results. Myrock isn't likely to sacrifice his own life for a human's. I'm looking for someone. Huh. Take a seat. Okay. Um, animal's name? Her name is Laura. Ah, uh, Laura. Uh, what kind of pet? She's a goat. A goat named Laura? Anything wrong? No, it's cool. Okay, my retainer is 80 up front and um, 200 when I find the goat. That's fine. Oh, yeah. All right, when did you lose her? Last night. Okay, I'm gonna need something that Laura connected to. A food dish or a lead rope or, you know, anything a goat would. Right here. A spoon for a goat? She liked to lick honey out of it. All right. Did you see her? <laughs> Do you know where she is? You made me find her. Now it all begins again. Those creeps turning my freaking life upside down. Where is she? Get out! Go on, beat it! Leave me alone! Hey, hey, come on. 
I'm sorry I lied to you. I saw you with her yesterday. When you left, she told me about Benning. Your friend is in real trouble. Just let me know where she is, and I'm gone. I promise, I leave you out of this. Where is she? On the roof. Show me. Oh, hey, nice promise. your new shadow. Go. I'll help Torrance. What about you guys? I'll meet you back home. Quickly, go. got him. You see the bounty he has on his wrist? That's an explosive. That's why he's so desperate to deliver Laura. I told Laura we'd meet her back at the yacht. You think you'd be able to find her? <laughs> well, he's a tracker, Ethanio. That's what he does. Let's move. You have no right bringing my friend into this. Yeah, what she said. Nice way to talk to someone who just saved your lives. Without you, we wouldn't have needed our lives saved. Bye bye. You were not going to help me any other way. I had to use what I had. Even if it almost got an innocent man killed. Laura, an innocent person is going to get killed. A good cop is sitting on death row, waiting to be fried tomorrow for something he didn't do. And I'm the only one who's trying to stop that. Is that true? I'm afraid so. Then we gotta do something. Gordon, if my rock wants us, we're gonna be plenty busy just trying to stay in one piece, let alone trying to take the fight to Banning. You don't have to fight him yourself. Just help me get the evidence back that was stolen and I expose everything. You don't understand, Malone. Banning is too powerful. The story will never be printed and even if it is, nobody will believe it. I'm sorry. You know, I... I figured you for more of a fighter. I am a fighter, and so is Nathaniel and Torns. We just pick fights that we can win. Oh. Since when? You've been getting in Banning's face ever since Nathaniel landed. Landed? Figure of speech. Listen. I'm telling you, we can win this fight. If I get my film back, there is no way they can shut me down. The story will get out. Even if the film still exists, and Banning's the reason why it disappeared, he would have destroyed it by now. <sighs> my editor, Chris Garrett, I don't know how he's connected, but I know he is. 
he killed my story in the first place. And when I got the proof, he knew the film had vanished even before I did. You really think he still has it? Oh, yes. I think this man is wily enough to keep copies of everything that crosses his desk. Hey, you help me. It'll save the cop's life. And it won't hurt whatever you're trying to do as well. Right? I'll talk to the guys and see what they have to say. What do you want to do then? Write another story about Laura and put her in even more danger? It wasn't my story. I told you it was not me. Okay. What do you want? Do you know anything about a guy named Bill Finn? Yeah. The guy on death row? <laughs> the innocent guy in death row. I saw the murder go down. I saw one of Benning's men shoot Raymond Crow. Well, okay, it was far away, but the negatives disappear before I ever get to see them. So even if you found your negatives, there may still be no proof. Whatever I've got feeling about it, if there's nothing on there, why would my film disappear? Help me get my next back. Help me get my story out of time. Do you have any idea where the negative is now? Scarrett is safe in his office. How did he open it? Oh, it was open. It says right there, behind the painting. <laughs> what a good idea. So who would have ever thought of putting a safe behind a painting? They've seen a lot of movies. Now, getting into it might be another matter. Are you guys sure you have the right equipment? Don't worry about us. Hey, Laura, why don't you take Mr. Malone to the newsroom? If you can get the story written, it might save us time when we do find the photo. Oh, right. What is it? We were right. The editor is working for Banning. The safe is totally Theron. <laughs> can you crack it? Try. I've located the core. Let's try to break through it. Got it. The question now is up to the governor of the state and the legal system. Can an innocent man be allowed to die or Will the powers that be launch a deeper investigation into the true reasons for the death of Raymond Kroll and the man who really killed him? Good story. All we're missing is proof. Not anymore. We found the pictures of Kroll's murder. You were right. Dent. Do you know him? Yeah, one of Banning's men. Can I quote you on this? Absolutely. If we're going to save Finn's life, we have to get this out as fast as possible. I'm sending a copy down to the press, but we still get some work to do convincing the nut editor. Ben, you haven't eaten anything. That much of an appetite. What time is it? Midnight. We still have 12 hours. asking you to redo the front page on my own? You want an answer, Malone? Yes, yes, I think you would do that, and worse. Now, I'll pretend I didn't see this. Listen, Eddie, I may not have approval, but an innocent man is going down, and you can help make the difference. You can help save a life. Hello? I'm gonna have to call security. Eddie, let's see if we can motivate you in a different way. Scarrett, your editor. He hid the evidence on the murders, and he suppressed the story. 
Now he's going to have to pay the consequences for that. And if you don't help us, you'll be implicated as well. Is that the way you want things to happen? I'll hold the front page. Get it to lay out ASAP. Mr. Skerritt, it's, uh, it's Lenny down at the press. It's late, Lenny. <sighs> what is it? It's Malone. He has a story he wants printed, and, uh, well, it's pretty explosive stuff. Uh, well, shut him down. Call security right now. It's not that easy. He has people with him. And, sir, uh, he has photos of a murder. He says you were involved somehow. Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen, Lenny. Let him go to press. Okay. I'll come down there and talk to him myself. And Lenny, you just sit tight. Stay right there. got photos of the murder. What? He's down at the press right now. He's printing off a run. Scarrett, this cannot be made public. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If word gets out, it could be a disaster. Mm -hmm. We have to stop him. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, one other thing. What? Lenny. What about him? The press operator. Yes. He knows too much. Thanks. Get the point across, doesn't it? Tracks should be running out with these in an hour, so the whole town will have the food right in front of them by the time they wake up. Or not. Terrible how often these things break down. Call Lenny. Lenny checked out. He had a bit of a breakdown himself. You can't stop the truth from getting out, Banning. We're gonna save that man's life. I think not. This is your big chance, Myrock. You might get out of this alive. Fugitive. You've missed some interesting developments in Theron technology. It doesn't have to be like this, my friend. Let us help you. It's too late. Banning holds all the cards. <laughs> the ultimate body armor. <laughs> Late breaking news, kids. I'm gonna write your obituary. Listen to me, Myrock. 
Let us help you. You can't help me. Becoming a prison, Banning. You can't stay in there forever. We can't help you. Trust me. the polarity on the force field. It can let something in, not out. I warn you, Myron. You'll all go together. Are you okay? It's like it's like a new lease on life. Batter up, Dent. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Goodbye, Dent. Cozy. <laughs> It's over, Banning! You're our prisoner now. It's never that easy, Nathaniel. You lose. Really? Take a lesson, Nathaniel. Often what one sees as a moment of victory can dissolve before your very eyes. Looks like you're gonna get the happy ending you wanted. Yes, that story. But I saw some stuff last night that still doesn't make sense to me. I mean, why am I thinking there's an even bigger story right in front of my eyes? Quit while you're ahead, Malone. You know what? I think I'll try. For once. So, you're ready to fight with the good guys, my friend? Not gonna get all mushy on me, are you, Torrance? You help me, I help you. We all live to fight another day. I'll see you guys around. Thanks. You're welcome. That's it, you're just gonna let him go? Yeah. Why? Do you want to stop him? Something tells me that we'll see him again. Yeah. Perhaps I should see one of those chiropractors. Thirty minutes in the regenerator will be sufficient. Something's not right. We have superior strength. 
We have speed and technology. We have the numbers. Why is it we cannot defeat these two Therans? And a motley collection of ill-prepared humans? The quality of the Therans, perhaps. <clears throat> or the ineffable qualities that the humans bring to the mix. Ineffable qualities. Yeah. The human spirit. I've been reading of such things. Metaphysics, philosophy, religion. Reading, Mr. Dent. Yeah. By embracing their pernicious cultural products, you undermine the very basis of our mission to destroy them. I should have burnt their vile literature early on. studies. The possibility exists that through our program of murder and destruction, we might have built up some bad karma. Something that we might be working off through these current circumstances and misfortunes. These are dangerous ideas, Mr. Dent. But if you persist in entertaining such notions, Listen to me well, because I shall have a hefty karmic price to pay soon. My time is almost at hand. There will be no mercy if Thaniel and Torrens will die with the humans. How does that fit into your theories, Mr. Dent? Part of me shudders at the thought. <clears throat> the rest of me kind of likes the idea. Next on Sci-Fi, Farscape. On the next Sci-Fi Friday, first, it's an all-new Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda. Memories from a thousand worlds. Don't let them find your past. Who are you? Reveal Becca's secret destiny. Leave it or die. Then, on Stargate SG-1. A loss that will affect SG-1 forever. And all new Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda and Stargate SG-1 on Sci-Fi Friday. This Friday, starting at 8. Something came out of the top of the mountain and it hit us. Gary Sinise. Shut down the engines. Don Cheadle. We're not going to make it. And Academy Award winner Tim Robbins. Prepare to abandon the network broadcast premiere of Mission to Mars. This Saturday at 9 on Sci-Fi.